and this is how the game begins. Huh? Where are the others? I don't know. I hope they got away. This old guy. Uh, as long as those things are in the mall, we better not use this door. Uh, what are you doing? The air ducts. They'll get us back into the mall, and apparently those things aren't smart enough to use the ducts. So they won't be a factor. <clears throat> Wait a minute. You want to get back in there? What for? <laughs> Got to double check that size. Hey. <laughs> nice camera. Are you a photographer? As a matter of fact, I am. I am. Frank West, photojournalist. Could you show me some pictures, Frank? Hello. You really seem to know what you're doing. Who are you guys, anyway? And what are you... I took that one near the entrance. That guy do something? No. Thanks for showing me, though. Yeah, okay. He totally did something, we know. He, he did. Uh, hey, we're not done talking yet. Just who are you guys? I'm Jesse. The man you saw earlier is Brad. That's all I'm authorized to tell you. Authorized? <clears throat> 70 hours left. That was an hour and a half of stuff. Woo! And that's how it all starts, friends. Uh, living on the edge. I told you she led them. Madonna did lead the zombies, yeah. Technically, that's true. That is so true. Uh, okay. So we can't go this way because this man welded this door. Welded. Okay. Um, can we change yeah. outfits? Oh yeah, we can. Okay. Yeah. Well, we're gonna wear uh, regular clothes for right now before we start putting on some ridiculous-looking outfits. Um, ooh, look, coffee creamer. Yeah, let's chug this down. So in order to regain life in this game, you have to have like uh, food items in order to uh, regain your life. So we'll be drinking a lot of orange juice. Bound to happen. Let's put this away while we're in here. 70 hours is a long time to be stuck in a mall with just zombies everywhere. That's, that's, that's a lot of time. Not to mention there's other people in here. There's crazy people in here. Um... That we'll see pretty soon. Uh, let's go ahead and t let's go ahead and save it. So in order to save this game, like like we said earlier, we have to sleep on this couch in here or find public restrooms. Um, can I change the slot? Oh, okay. Okay, cool. So we got all kinds of different slots to save into then. Okay. So, okay, that's fine with me, that's fine. You have to kill 53,594 to get that achievement. That's right, yeah. I don't think we'll be doing that this playthrough. Um, but I remember doing that on the Xbox 360 version. You get the, you get 
you know, some sort of vehicle, and then you go down to the parking garage and just mow down the zombies all day, every day. And that's all you have to do, like, that's all you can do. You have to just completely ignore everything else. We're not going to do that, unfortunately. So I want to play this for the story, so... But this time around, we're probably going to be missing a lot of things. But that's alright. That's okay, because you can play this game multiple times if you want. Let's talk to her. I can't answer your questions, she says. Even if we rounded up everyone responsible and arrested them, I still got my hands full with everything else that's going... Something, something. Going on around here. Okay. Cool. Public restrooms, yep. Men or women's restrooms work fine. You ain't planning on going back down into the mall, are you? I wouldn't do that if I were you, but you young folks seem something something. Well, if you're gonna go, it takes this transceiver. Yep. And the mall map. Awesome. But can we look at the map? I hit B. I hit A. Okay. Ooh, nice. They actually give you all the stores and everything. Guys, you're going to love this. You're going to love the mall. You're going to love everything about this. There's so many stores to go into. There's so many things to do. So right now we're in the security room. Um, I think this is where we were. This was North Plaza, I think. Or Entrance Plaza. Um, yeah. What if I zoom in on a store? What does that do? Okay. Cool. And they have, they have little descriptions and everything. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Then our notebook, um, all these characters. These are all the characters in the game, ones that we've seen so far. Um, but yeah. All kinds of cool stuff. Let's go to the rooftop now. Check all this out. Alright. Hey, anybody around? Anybody around? JF, what's going on? Let's jump on this box. Stun gun. Okay, that's gonna be good. It's gonna be real good. Put that away. You, have you seen my wife, Natalie? She'd still be around here. Do I what do I do with this man? Looking for someone, I'll land a hand. Oh, that's that, that was Frank's line. Never mind. Jeff Meyer, by the way. I'm Frank. I'm a photojournalist. Well, he didn't say photojournalist, but yeah, we are. So this is a big mechanic of the game here. Um, throughout our mall adventures, we will find survivors that need help, whether that be... Uh, from the zombies, from other things, we can find survivors and we can bring them back to the security room, not only for, you know, for experience points, but it adds kind of overall to how many people you can save in this game. Um, I don't think the ending is affected by how many people you save, but the fact that saving survivors nets you a lot of XP it's a thing we need to do uh, a lot. So when we come across them, we have to basically escort them all the way, wherever they are in the mall, all the way back to the security room uh, in order to get uh, the XP and to save them. So I'm sure it's going to be annoying, but this is one of the big things in this game. Um, so escorting survivors. Survivors each be behave differently depending on the circumstances and their own varying personalities. It is a good idea to escort as many as possible to the safety of the security room. So we, so once we have them, we can call them. We can set goal markers for them to go over there. So we'll be, we'll be using this a lot, for sure. Gonna lurk while doing housework and things. No worries. Cool. 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 Uh, that voice acting. It's not the best. But his, uh, his voice did sound like that. Uh, finding a wife on the other side, yeah. Yep. 
We got soccer balls. Can we kick these? Well, technically we can, yeah. Oh, look at that. I just scored a goal. <clears throat> All right. Jeff. Oh, got Oh, oh. Fantastic. Yes. Nice. So anytime that survivor, every survivor in this game will have a moment where you can take a picture. They'll have a photo moment. And you have to make sure you capture that, otherwise it won't happen again. So, look, we reunited Jeff with his wife. Now we can go back to the security room with them. Alright, you two, mind cutting your joyous reunion short? Not safe here, but I know a place. I'll take you to the security room. Follow me. Awesome. Okay. Yeah. We also leveled up, too. Leveling up. Prestige points are awarded for actions such as escort escorting survivors to safety or defeating zombies. When the PP gauge becomes full, rank levels up. All right. So you can get things such as attack power increases, running speed increases, maximum life, item stock, more items you can carry, uh, the item throw distance, um, as well as like combo skills. Uh, like you got to put in, you know, you got to tap uh, A, X, Y, and you can do a specific move, stuff like that. So it's pretty cool. So let's see how this thing works. I uh, I forgot he could spit. <laughs> I forgot he spits in this game. Go. So I can tell my survivors to go to that point while I deal with zombies in certain situations. So it's a really nice tool to do so. Or you can just call them. That. And I think in order to, uh, Follow me. we're gonna have to be spamming that call button a lot as well. But I think in order for them to, um, to uh, come in here, I think they have to be up on this platform, if I'm not mistaken. Let's go on in here. It was good. <laughs> I'm never going in the mall again as long as I live. I've had enough about, about this. Completed the escort. 20,000 PPs. Yeah. So stock, we can carry more items. Nice. Those things are all over the mall. Be careful out there. Yep, and when you get uh, survivors in here, uh, you, will, you will hear them cry over and over again. Kind of annoying. But that's the thing. The spitting help in this? I guess in so some situations, I totally forgot that he he did that. Thank you so much. I really owe you one. I can't wait till we get in that situation where we gotta spit. You know. Let's go ahead and save the game too. We'll make sure we save a lot, and we'll save in different slots if we can. Um, wait, what, what did I pick? Oh yeah, okay, green means... That's where you're picking. Oh, it's gonna be so fun. This game. I don't, I think it's, I don't think there's gonna be a lot of people that care to watch this game. But I think it's going to be really fun uh, to play through. It'll be something different that we, we've never done on the channel, really. I originally wanted to play this uh, in October, but because of the way the scheduling was, you know, we didn't, we didn't quite make it. But it's alright. It's fine. You can spit fire too. I didn't even know that was a thing. Uh, that's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. Um, we'll have to keep an eye out for that. So this goes to the warehouse. Is that someplace you want to go? 
I thought we were able to go in this elevator over here. Let's see. Doo, doo, doo. But yeah, it's been 10 years since I've played this game. Um, it was recently sort of remastered uh, a couple of months ago. And, um... Um, I decided it seems like a good time to play it. So do we want to go in here first, or that warehouse? Honestly, I think it's the same place. Let's go in here. Let's see. There's so much things to do in the mall. Insane. What do we got? Hey, it's Otis, back at the security room. Can you hear me, Frank? Let me give you the rundown on the mall's layout so you know where you're doing. Right on the other side of the warehouse, you'll find Paradise Plaza. There's lots of shops there. Restaurants, sporting goods, books, you name it. Pretty big mall, so you'll probably need to use something something. Man, I can't read that fast. Game? I might just not have to read that out loud. I might just have to just speed read it. Uh, let's... Otis the janitor, you said you're a journalist, right? I've been watching the monitors here and I got some info you might want. There's some young guy wandering around the Paradise Plaza. He's carrying a camera like you. Guess he must be a photographer too, taking pictures at a time like this. You're both crazy. Yeah, okay. Scoops. It's all about scoops. Um, you have to use the blender to make a mixed drink, to make nectar, spitfire, or any type of mixed drink. Okay, cool. We'll keep an eye out for that. Thanks, uh, DJ So Smooth. Um, okay, so scoops, these are basically quests in this game. Um, and one of the big things about this game, like I said, is time limits. You have a certain window uh, to do these quests. Um, of course, you can not do them if you choose to, but we're going to try and do everything that we can quest-wise. Um, but like I said, there'll, there'll probably be a lot of things that we miss, um, like maybe certain survivors are out and about on a certain day at a certain time, you know, I have no clue. Um, we'll just have to see what happens, but yeah, we're gonna, we'll just, we'll play through the game, you know, we're playing through it for the story and for the fun. Uh, like I said, it's been my first time playing this game in 10 years, so probably we'll miss a lot of things, but... We'll see. We'll see. Um, so the scoop provides a list of current requests along with relevant information on survivors. If you are able to fulfill the objectives laid out in the scoop, scoop queue before time runs out, you can receive PP or learn about the incident. So we'll have to check our watch. So blue means more than six hours remain. Yellow means less than six. And red means less than three. And then if it doesn't have anything, there's no time limit on it, which is, I think, pretty rare in this game. So, um, By setting a guide arrow, you would be able to move more easily. Uh, you'd be able to more easily navigate. I don't, don't even know what I said there. More, more easily navigate your way to a given goal. Guide arrows can be set via the watch screen or the map screen. Okay. So guide arrow kind of tells you the direction to go to. Cursor is on whatever quest you want to work on, and then the scoop details. Okay. We can check our watch. Cut from the same cloth. That's the, uh, the current objective right now. So that's what we'll do. I'm trying to jump on this cardboard box to see what's inside there. I can't do it. Oop. Whatever. It's not important. We got so many things that we can carry. There's a lot of different items in this game that you can use as weapons, so... It's gonna be, it's gonna be fun. Paradise Plaza. Uh, let's jump on this thing. If we can. Cabbage. Okay. Well, friends, let's go. Let's go out into the mall, finally. Paradise Plaza is where we're at. Zombies, huh? Had a feeling you'd show up. Zombies. Oh, oh, oh. God, it's you. 
Wow, if she had a gun, she could have shot you. Sneak up on me. Brad was attacked. I located him on the monitor. Brad? It's probably just a sprain. I've got to help Brad. Or he's done for. All right, fine. Give me your gun. Come uh, on. I'm the reason you just got hurt. Let me help. No, I can't let a civilian do that. That's against regulations. Yeah, well, I don't think they had zombie-infested malls in mind when they wrote those regulations, kid. Kid? You know how to use this? Kinda. I've covered wars, you know. <laughs> it's famous line. <clears throat> Look, after I'm through helping you, you and I are gonna have a nice little chat. I gotta say, for an Xbox 360 game, the character's ears look really well done for some reason. I don't know, I was drawn to ears in that specific cutscene. Looks pretty good. Uh, check your watch and you'll get a description below. Okay, we'll do that, uh, we'll do that in a second here. Uh, so case one. So we've got all of these cases. Um, these are basically, um, I think their main story, um, like main, main things that we need to make sure that we get. We can't miss these. Um, so currently, we're still on September 19th. Uh, I think it's probably like 1 p.m. or 2 p.m. So we got three more cases for the day. Uh, and then we've got, you know, until 6 a.m., to start the others so this is a thing that will happen uh you know once you finish a case or or finish you know a cutscene for that matter the case panel form a guide to solving the mystery behind the incident when you encounter a key event uh, a new case panel opens taking you one step closer to the truth there we go um, you can take a look at the current status of the case panels via the case file option in the pause menu. Uh, when all case panels have been filled, the truth behind the incident will be revealed. There we go. All right. So I'm dropping my bat. Look at that. How does my bat stand up like that? It's amazing. Um, so backup for Brad is what we've got. Uh, let's drop that and pick up the baseball bat again. So he said to check our watch. It'll tell us a description about it. Cut from the cloth, goal, Paradise Plaza. That's currently where we are right now. A young man who appears to be a photographer has been spotted wandering Paradise Plaza. We've got to find that. The Brad case. What does this say? Then the food court. Brad is under fire. I have to go in place of Jesse to back him up. Okay. I think because we're in Paradise Plaza, we're, we're going to do cut from the same cloth first. I think that makes, makes the most sense. God, it's almost 4 p.m.? Oh, my God. Well, we've got more than six hours for the Brad thing. We can do this. So this is the mall. Get used to it because there's going to be a lot of things in here that we're going to... We're gonna need to uh, to do. There's a lot of items that respawn in certain areas, so we'll have to figure all that stuff out. All right, let's go find this guy. I guess. Uh, back up for Brad is the next case. Yeah, that's the next uh, key event, as they say. So where is this kid at? Let's see. Do, do, do. So he's upstairs. Okay, let's go upstairs. Man, it feels so cool to be back in this game again. Who is this guy? Kent. Somebody's barricaded a woman's clothing shop in Al Fresca. Two people are hiding inside. Okay, so these are more survivors. Barricade A and Barricade B. Okay. So let's see. Can I take a picture of this, bro? 
go up a little bit closer here. Not bad. Let's see what this guy's about. Hey, you, you're in my way. Can't you see I'm hard at work? I'm trying to take some pictures here. You've got a nice camera there yourself. But you don't know the first thing about photography, do you? Whoa. Sorry about that. You know, I happen to be a pro too. Maybe not as good as you, but... Think you're a professional, huh? Uh-huh, right, gotcha. Do you really appreciate the weight the word professional carries? If you don't have the talent, you can't just use that word like you own it. That music. Kent Swanson is his name. There's more zombies in this mall soon. Oh, there will be. Name's Frank West. Sorry I got in the way of your shot. Let's get out of your hair now. Okay, okay. Hang on a sec, buddy. Why don't I, why don't I do you a favor? I'll have to look at your technique and you can give me some pointers. Be shy, Frankie. Here, I'll leave a model for you. Show me what you can do and I'll be the judge. What a great idea, huh? Sometimes I think I'm a genius. Let's get started. Okay. Taking photos. The thing. Kent, please. <laughs> when taking photos, note that the larger the uh, circle, the target marker, the more PP you will gain. That's, that's going to be a funny word to say. The more PP... Uh, you will gain from that photo. Also, if you manage to take a photo while attacking, being damaged, or in some other non-standard status, the target marker will will change color to red, indicating an increase of potential PP. Okay. The color of the target marker indicates the genre of the photo being taken. The genre that nets the most PP will take precedence over other genres that could be included in said photo. Brutality, violent images, drama, emotionally stirring images, outtake, humorous images, horror, horrifying images, erotica, sexually stimulating images, like sexy women, you know. That's a thing. So, want to take a picture or show off my photography skills? You have to do 500 pp. Ooh, we gotta get a little bit more. Little harder, old -timer. Perfect. I guess we gotta zoom in a little bit more. Fantastic. There we go. Great shot. Fine. You did it. Nice job. Look damn good in my shot. Next time I'll treat you to signature pose. Let's get 700 PP for this. Let's take this man's picture. Let's see, what's he doing here? Uh, bro, what are you doing? Oh. <laughs> Ooh! Oh, I just missed his kick. Alright, we gotta... Well, alright, there we go. That's what we call a photo op. When PP appears, take the shot common sense for a photographer. So we didn't really see him kick too well, but you know. Perfect. Fantastic. We'll see pictures of him anyway. Man. I'm not posing for no reason. You gotta time it right. Do it. Ah. Try a little harder, old timer. So what are we doing now? We've already done things. Oh, yeah, great. I don't know what he wants me to do. We already took the shot of him. Hang on. Fully zoom in when he taunts. Oh, okay. Gotcha. One. Perfect. Well, that wasn't fully Boring. zoomed in, but. Nice 
this one. Fantastic. Oh, like that. Okay. Gotcha. I thought he just wanted us to get over 700. Hmm. By, like, doing his kick well, and stuff. Can focus. And, uh, the composition's okay, I suppose. Uh-huh. Hmm. That ain't half bad. Okay. Here comes the next one, Frankie. But first... Feast your eyes on my work. Now this okay. is my most emotionally moving shot. It's all right. I got a better one. <laughs> now this is my sexiest shot. <laughs> Whoa! Why is she wearing that? Uh huh. Uh huh. Okay. Pretty good. Okay. This is my most violent shot. Check it out. Ugh. Okay, here's the deal, Frankie. You gotta go out there and take even better pictures than the ones I just showed you. You think you can handle that, huh? Yeah. Baby. 